Viruses and viroids. We're going to look at the structure and identification of viruses and viroids. What are they all about? When we look at virus structure, viruses are not very complex. We've already looked at the part on whether or not they're alive. What we're going to look at is what makes them tick, how they're put together. Viruses have what we call a capsid, which is a protein coat. It goes around the virus. The virus, when it's outside of the body or outside of the host, we call it a virion. It's a protein coat around the outside of the virion. This is a picture of something that looks to be tobacco mosaic virus. It's a very interesting picture. When you look at it, it looks like a bunch of soda straws with a bunch of parts wrapped around the outside. What they've got labeled there as two are basically proteins. All of these proteins come together around the central core, which is the nucleic acids on the inside. In this particular case, it is a single-stranded nucleic acid. The capsid is the protein part around the outside of it, the nucleic acids on the inside of it. That's all you've really got inside of this particular virion. Viruses have either RNA or DNA. They don't have both. They have one or the other. The RNA or DNA could be single-stranded or could be double-stranded, which means that these are a little bit different than what you normally find as far as regular type of organisms. Viruses can be what we call envelope. In this particular case, this is a from the National Institutes of Health, and this is an HIV virus. What you see around the outside is you see these purple things that look like little flowers. Those are actually proteins around the outside of it. The turquoise part on the inside is the capsid. The part that goes around the outside, therefore, is actually lipid bilayer. The lipid bilayer comes from the host organism. When you look at this, we call this particular part an enveloped virus because it's got lipid bilayer around the outside. These are very easy to get rid of outside of the body because all you have to do is disrupt the membrane. A non-enveloped virus looks like this. You see this particular one, which is Cal-P mosaic virus. You see the different proteins that go together to make up the capsid. A lot of times these have geometric shapes to them. We also have viruses of bacteria, and we call these things bacteriophages. They may have a structure like this. This is a T-even type bacteriophage. It looks kind of like a space capsule. It's all made out of protein, except for the nucleic acid, which is the jumbled part up in the top. Protein nucleic acid makes up your virus particle. We also have viroids. Viroids, by definition, is naked nucleic acid. There is no capsid around the outside of it. These are very elementary, infectious pieces of DNA. Therefore, they get to be very unique. The one viroid that we often talk about is this, which is potato spindle tuber viroid. Look at these potatoes. You can see the one on the right-hand side looks absolutely normal, and the other just look a little different, right? Chances are you wouldn't even hesitate about consuming one of those or, you know, cooking it up or something like that. It's got a viroid on the inside. What's the viroid going to do? Nothing. But it's viroid. A viroid is a naked piece of nucleic acid. It's a small infectious particle. It gets in and all of a sudden it does this on the potato. doesn't allow it to get up to full size, but rather we have these small ones. Viruses and viroids, not very complex in the way they're put together, but they are quite interesting and important.